To balance this equation, the decomposition of lead to nitrate, let's count the atoms up and we need to be careful because we have a lot of different oxygen atoms over here. So first we have one lead and the two means we have two of these nitrate ions. So we have two times the one, two nitrogens, two times the three, six oxygens. On the product side, we have the one lead, the one nitrogen, and then oxygens, we have one plus two, that's three plus two, three plus two, that's five. So we have five oxygens. Let's start by balancing the nitrogens, see how that works out. We could put a two right here in front of the NO2, then we'd have one times two for the nitrogen, that would be balanced. We need to recalculate these oxygens though. We have the one plus two times two is four plus two. So that gives us seven oxygens. So we're almost balanced here. We just have a difference of one, but we have to fix that. At this point, I think I'll double the lead to nitrate because I have fewer oxygens here than on the product side. So I'm gonna to have to do something. So I'm gonna double it and then see how that works out. So let's update these numbers here. I have one times two. Now I have two leads. And then for the nitrogen, I have two times the one times the two. So essentially two times two. I have four nitrogens. And then oxygens, I have two times three, that's six times the two, that's six times two. That gives me 12. Okay, so that really changed things. Let's fix the lead first because we could just put a two here, one times two. That gives us two there, and that'll change the oxygens. But I also want to get the nitrogens correct, and I need to have four nitrogens. So I'm going to replace this here. So now I have one times four, I have four nitrogens. So let's update these oxygens. I have two times one, that's two, plus four times two, that's eight, plus the two here, and two plus eight is 10, plus two it's 12. And this equation is now balanced. If you're having problems, you may have counted the oxygens incorrectly up. Make sure you're counting all of them. And then this one, a little bit of trial and error here to get to the correct balanced equation. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.